Humiliated in the Philippines in 42 and smoldering vengefully against the generals that had fought him there, tried to see to it that no great jurists, lawyers, or legal niceties impeded the judicially illiterate military tribunal he appointed. It was a race to execution under rough and ready rules of class B and C trials. In this Manila courtroom, the Jap general who commanded in the Philippines during the infamous Bataan Death March stands trial. And here the noose tightens on General Hama. Jap brutalities are bared by witness after witness. How did you get involved in the one of the first military tribunal cases uh, ever? I wasn't invited. I was ordered by <laughs> Joe MacArthur. Right. Well, as I says, I told you about how many guys didn't make the death march. Right. Well, during the trial, they asked if Marcus, how many died? Many, many died. How many? Many, many died. That's all they can say. Then after the trial, John said, go into Bataan, bring Abraham in. Sounds already in blank of Bataan. Uh, he said, you, you got to come in against the home of trial. The night I had to interrogate the natives, they, they knew where the body was. They have to meet me in the morning, show me where the bodies were. Mm -hmm. I had to depend on thousands of natives like at a night. Then I'd make reports and disinterment reports, and I'd make a map where, the, where I recover the body, see? So I wasn't interested in that, see? I want to get the job done and get the hell out of there. Job means told the Marcus, get in the caves and tunnels. They did. They took gasoline, hand grenades, and they killed 137. Mm -hmm. to, to prove it to Japan, it's in the book here. I got every man mentioned who, who was executed like that. A lot of names in it, because all these names in that book, or 600 names, none of them guys came back to stay. I'm listening to all these guys say, said, oh, many, many died. So Major Skeen, which he was right beside the home there, he came up and said, well, the first home I looked kind of funny. I got there, all the reports got around me and news drills. Lights came on, news drills working on me. Oh my, that's Major Skeen, who the hell's that guy? Well, the Major Skeen said, you and I crushed these guys. Do you want to say how many, many died? He said, I told you, savage so far. Many, many died. I said, sir, I'm not going to tell you nothing about death march. I'm going to tell you how many bodies I just interred. And I, I started telling three here, four there, so forth, and so forth. So that was it. Not yet, I'd, I'd be the only one happy, actually testifying. The facts remain. I'm the one disinterred the bodies. Right. So who else got to be? When you walk into the room for the first time and you see General Homa, that's the first time you'd ever seen uh, Homa. You, you never saw him in any of your prison camps, did you? No, not to doing the trial, I says never seen him. Right. I went at home and tried for death of O'Donnell, not at Camp, uh, not on a death march. Right. What was your, what did you think when you saw him? You walk into the courtroom for the first time? Nothing. Nothing? My mind is fog, I'm digging the body, so there's the guy there. I'll just say I'm like, uh, like Yamashita, show that the hunger, but uh, what, what was that? It was nothing but another bamboo, bamboo trial. Right. Yamashita took his 100,000 men 100 miles up the hill to Baguio. Japanese Navy and Marines wasn't under homeless command. They raped and burned Manila. Mm -hmm. Who did they hang? Yamashita, 100 miles away in the hills. They never not do it. Right. That's kind of cool. Just like it's, uh, I'm the only man that ever knew this, because I heard it during the trial. There was a colonel who came up to two lieutenants, and Major Skeen said, I don't want to defend home with too good, but of course they ain't going to like it. Well, hell, he's already convicted me even before the trial. I'm the only heard that. Good thing I was right there. Say, that's what you call a Kaiga coat. Then Lieutenant General of the Japanese Imperial Army and Commander-in-Chief 
in the Philippines of the armed forces of Japan at war with the United States of America and its allies did on 6 May 1942 unlawfully refuse to grant quarter to the armed forces of the United States of America and its allies in Manila Bay, Philippines, and did thereby violate the laws of war. Upon secret written ballot, two-thirds or more of the members concurring, the commission sentences you to be shot to death with musketry. Uh, those rights really didn't exist in, in a military uh, trial. The American lawyers shanghaied for the defense, infuriated MacArthur by bitterly challenging irregularities under American and international law at every step. Going all the way to the United States Supreme Court, they lost the appeal for Hama. But in a scathing dissent, Justice Murphy wrote, the enemy has lost the battle but destroyed our ideals. In Manila, the sentence was death. Mrs. Homa went to Douglas MacArthur, pleaded for her husband's life. Now, MacArthur did not grant that uh, wish, but he did change the method of execution. Yamashita was hanged. Many of the other 5,700 B and C list prisoners were tried and executed within a week. Well, you know, you served an unbelievable uh, benefit to the families, so they actually, there's a, there's a record. I wish the hell I had the Clemson. I got Clemson from Star and Stripe. I made telephone from all over the world. Then all these mothers started writing to me. Right. I got one recently on, on email. She said, my great-grandmother was worried about about the body being scattered in the jungles. I wrote back to Nas that he died in uh, Cabana Juan on such and such date of dysentery. Now the guy said, he's going to Philippines. He said, is my brother's body there in the cemetery? I said, he is. Yeah, well, I notified over a thousand mothers. Hey, I've got a, I'm one of the guests at that all-star game. In Pittsburgh. Yeah. Here, this beautiful scene in front of you here at PNC Park. And right now, let's go to public address announcer, Tim DeBacco. Now, ladies and gentlemen, would you please remain standing? Here to honor America with the singing of our national anthem is two-time Academy of Country Music Award winner, Carrie Underwood. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proud At the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight 